He is. So we're going to have to wait one more. Double the points he made here last year. Yeah. And still went on to be world champion. So, you know, there's still a long season to go yet. Waiting on the start. Heat 19. Oh, off three. Good launch by Zagar. Proving that inside gate is the place to be. Hample in second. AJ in third. Bunyan in fourth. Not the best start by Johnson, but you would think he doesn't have to do a huge amount to get himself at least into the semi. And finally, Zagar starting to show some speed. Matty Zagar, nice work over Hample. Back to Jonsson, back to Bunyan. Jonsson winding up turn three. Nobody really making the outside work. He crosses back to put a move on Hample. There's nothing in it with one to go. But look at that now, the turnaround. Zagar hasn't done much all night out there in front absolutely flying well he gated very well in his last ride too john but he just turned in a bit too late in one and drifted up track and lost two spots he certainly didn't do that this time watching hample enormous pressure now from aj andreas johnson coming at him as we head down the back straight for the last time well done matty jager gets himself a win the 30 year old very good job the slovenian and rider in top form and he really has turned things around and certainly this season again he's in fine form this is heat number four of the european speedway grand prix and Woffenden has been left trailing at the start segar has made a beauty now Woffenden comes up the inside oh, oh. Now on the outside is matty segar how did they stay on the bike segar has the lead second place is Woffenden. third in yellow is niels christian everson and everson comes up the inside of Woffenden now it's race on here in Bingos. Yeah, brilliant first corner from Ty Wolford and dreadful start, but he switched back to the inside. He's into second place and showing good speed. Sagar out in front, winding it on under and all sorts of pressure. Limbeck's out the back, been tailed off. But the first three, this could go anywhere there. And Sagar is becoming under a lot of pressure from the brim. Yeah, Woffington's got plenty of speed and plenty of confidence. Zagar reaping the rewards of a busy start to the season, back riding in the UK with the Bellevue Aces. And he has that lead. He looks classy. He looks smooth. Woffington holding on to second. <laughs> Everson pushing hard and Lindback well and truly at the back. Zagar, has he done enough? He has. He's clamped the inside line and that denies Good right. Woffington because he could have got... We might... The final is going to be something special here tonight in the Bologna Stadium, Big Gosh. Heat number 17 at the FIM European Speedway Grand Prix. And gate number three works for Zegar, but Pedersen is there. Oh! Over the place, Lindgren. And now Zegar has the lead. And now Pedersen coming round the outside of Saif Sa Sa Fudinov for second place right now. And Freddie Lindgren, how he stayed on the bike there. Goodness, well, it's, knows. It's a miracle. Out in front, though, the uh, main benefactor of that, of course, is Zegar looking good. He's looking good for a semi-final slot. Fast out in front. Pedersen on his second bike. Hustles his way. And how on earth? He also lifted quite hard in the first corner. He's got himself into second place. Saifudin off there. This point will just about do for him. Nine points will see you through. Freddie Lingwin, disappointing for him. Remarkable that he actually stayed upright in the first turn. But Zagar... Well, he's enjoying a really good night here, just what the doctor ordered. Speaking to a lot of the journalists here from the Speedway Star magazine and all the other uh, media outlets here in the press area earlier today, Matty Zegar was strongly fancied because of the form that he's been in. Yeah, I agree with that. And uh, he's kicking on here. Pedersen has to lock up to avoid Emil Saifudinov. Needs a big first corner. He will be staying in Gothenburg in a couple of weeks' time. Hope he can join us for that as well. But here we have two semi-finals and the final to come. Gollum's made a beauty off the inside. What a gate from Thomas Gollum. And Seagal's there. And now Holder's come through. And Gollum's under threat here. And now Gollum comes through. Oh, right. Whoa, what a move from Gollum. He got swamped in the first corner, but he split them down the back straight. Seagal's there. Holder there, desperate to try and get him up to the point. Seagal goes wide. Holder chops back to the inside. Is there room? and Zagar slams the door shut. Holder's all over the back of Zagar. Round the outside this time. He's looking. Zagar knows he's there. He slams the door shut. Gollum's away. Everson's out the back. Holder up the inside. This is going to get tight. Down the back straight. Neck and neck. Holder's trying absolutely everything here. Matty Zagar looking to get through to the fourth final of his career. And he's looking good because he's riding a good line. Gollum has gone. He's in the final barring mechanical failure. Zagar second at the moment. 
and this is a great result for Matty Zegar. Everson's coming with a big swoop around the outside as well. Here comes Everson, but Zegar's going to get there. The crowd. Saifudinov has been fast tonight. Don't eight Grand Prix wins here, or will it be one of the youngsters coming from the outside to really mix it up in that first corner? Fabulous night, fabulous racing prospect. Gollum will be the favourite off the inside. All the fans are on their feet in the grandstand in front of us. Oh, what he's missed a start it. from Zegar off gate two. Matej Zegar with a wonderful start, and watch out for Saifudinov. Now on Saifudinov in yellow. He does indeed. Brilliant first corner from Saifur and if it comes, hits the front. Here comes Mr. G round the outside. He's beginning to wind it up. We've got a couple of laps to go. Got him now in the middle of the track. Zagor riding round the outside, but Saifur and off. He is still out in front. Zagor moving back to the outside. Will he find the extra speed? Saifur and off right down on the curb. One lap to go, Nigel. Saifur and off kicking on here. The boy who lives in big gosh. But he's from Russia. He's a precious young talent. Got him pushing Sega. But it's going to be Emil Saifudinov with a fourth Grand Prix win of his career. Emil Saifudinov! Well, here's the lineup, and it's the third time that you've seen it, so you know exactly who's in the race. Sega, <laughs> Kasper Zak, Ward, and Everson. Hasn't changed. Hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Pre Speedway. And the riders know the stakes are high here, especially after seeing Gollum win the first race of the night. E number two, third time of asking. Take tries, and Zegar's made a good one again. Everson is there, he's chopped across, but Zegar's going to take Everson wide, and that's a good ride from Zegar, who kicks on down the back straight. Niels Christian Everson is second, Christoph Kasperzak is third, and Darcy Ward is at the back right now. But Matty Zegar, what a season he's having, riding beautifully, losing confidence, and he has that lead. And he's looking good here. Yeah, superstar from the inside from Zagar. I've got to say that Freddie Lindgren will be disappointed because he had that in heat one and failed to take advantage. Zagar out in front looking fast. Everson determined as he came across from the outside. Ward was the one that was the meat in the sandwich again. He had to shut the throttle off on the entrance to the first corner. But look at Zagar, Nigel. Absolutely steaming away out in front. Really fast. Oozing confidence, as you said. He's loving Grand Prix Speedway right now. Yeah, Zagar, who's reached four in his Grand Prix career. This is his 32nd appearance in the Speedway Grand Prix series, and he is absolutely tearing the opposition apart here. Yeah. Matty Zegar is going to take the check and flag in heat two from Everson, from Kasper Zak, number two, Chris Aldergate three, and Matty Zegar off the Pedersen in it, and Holder. Really looking forward to it. This evening, the race is really livened up. This is heat 15. What a lineup it is. We have three world champions in this race. Off game number Nicky Pedersen, superb. Second place, he's got him now. Coming around the outside, and the inside, Zegar! Oh! Where did he find that? Oh, got him! Oh! Got him, hits the front down the back straight. Brilliant opening left. Zegar's right. back from the Zegar right around right the outside, and Thomas got him. The world champions out the back. Unbelievable first lap of Speedway. Got him back up the inside, and Zegar's failed to score in his last two rides. Somehow got to the front. Excellent opening lap. Well, this one puts Zegar on six points and give him a great chance of a semi-final spot if he can win his last race. They're dropping points left, right and centre here. The lead is with Matty Zegar. Thomas Gollum is second. We have Nicky Pedersen third and Chris Holder, who has had a wonderful night so far, is going to have eight points going into his last ride if it stays like this. But Zegar showing true class here. This Zegar. is an impressive ride, Kelvin. Superb, and he had to do the hard way. It was an excellent first corner from the outside where he chopped back to the inside and he's got himself to the front. Got him looking more like he means business this time. One corner to go, but the race is all about Matty Zagar. Thomas Gollum yeah, as well. Super Speedway meeting now. Matty Zagar off the inside in red. Andreas Jones had a disappointing night for AJ. He goes off two. Ty Wolfen, you can't take your eyes off this one. It's heat number 20. Big points on the line. Pressure on Zagar off the inside. Needs to win the race off game number one. He's going to hit that first turn. Johnson up the inside side, Fugan up through the middle. What can do as well? Oh, brilliant first corner there, but got to say, Zegar away from the inside was absolutely. Oh my goodness, look at the speed from him outside, Fugan up the outside. Fantastic move from him, but 
Zagar somehow responds. Woodford and back in third place, but Zagar really looking strong out in front. This will do nicely for Matty Zagar, but it's bad news for Greg Hancock because this will put Hancock out of the semi finals. The lead is with Matty Zagar now on the verge of two straight victories. Emil Saifudinov is second, third is Ty Woffenden here. That will put Woffenden on 11 points, and that would mean that he will get a good pick for the draw for the semi finals. Uh, but to Emil Saifudinov second right now that will put him on 11 as well but he's closing the gap here oh he's so brave for the outside doesn't really need to do it he's gonna go through but Zaga responding under massive pressure comes up with a big win when he really needed it brilliant absolutely